Hey there, Martin here from Schildfahrer Potsdam and in this hopefully very short video I want to present you some of my main teaching principles that I used to employ at the Schildfahrer Potsdam. So, I try to keep this video as short as possible, so I try to keep the points concise as well uh, but of course there's probably a lot more to be discussed about so i highly encourage you to use the comment section on youtube below right so the first and actually most important principle in my teaching is that the students come first what i offer is a service i of course try to uh, teach historical European martial arts or a more precise Bolognese swordsmanship but what the student wants always comes first so if they need anything to be adapted for them I kindly oblige especially in the solo lessons this might be uh, especially feasible but also in the group sessions it's I think very important to listen to what your students and fellow colleagues have to say and try uh, to accommodate all the needs in the classes. Not only your own, but the students come first. All right. The second one is that I'm actually less trying to teach specific plays out of the sources, but I try to generalize the place into, and this is a really uh, convoluted term by now, into principles that apply to historical fencing. So it's less of one historical play by play kind of teaching, but more like, well, you find this method to defend yourself, or you find this method to provoke or attack your opponent. And I really try to, to summarize um, the essence of the art that I'm teaching because I think well that's that's mainly my kind of work that I do right um, teaching straight from the manuscript has of course value in itself and it can be dissected and different kind of interpretations can be discussed but I don't think for a weekly class that's actually the best approach and it's certainly not the approach that I think yields the best results because third principle um, people come to your class to acquire the skill of historical fencing and for that you meet practice first practice 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 um, so in my classes I always say uh, less talk and more fighting or more practicing this is really important because I think as teachers, we often kind of fall into the trap of wanting to explain everything in too much detail. And it's, I think, really important to, to stay as general as possible, as long as the goal and the general kind of movement still resembles what you want to teach. What I mean by that? Well, Let's get back to the specific place. They might be very specific on how to, to turn your body, how to turn your hand, all these very specific things. But you have to keep in mind, these are also meant for one specific kind of student. And especially in a class, you are dealing with lots of students of different body types, different shapes, gender, all that kind of stuff. And everyone has to adapt at least a little bit and if i just would focus overly much on the details of any kind of movement well then that might suffice for one specific kind of student that is very similar to myself but a lot of other students would find it lacking so try to keep it as general as possible and let the students actually figure out the details for themselves. So of course, uh, you try to aid them in that process, right? That's why you're a teacher. Um, but it's really important that they also have room to experiment and play with the different kind of techniques. Okay, so three principles here. Students first, then uh, 
we want to condense the art into some kind of principles and then we want to put that practice first and talk actually as little as possible all right so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you next in the next one uh, take care and bye